In this short presentation, I'm going to finish up and show you how to make a histogram in Excel 2004 for the Macintosh. The steps you'll see here are also very similar to those used for the newer versions of Excel in the Mac as well. Again, this is Dr. Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for NSG 322 Biostatistics at National University in San Diego. So last time we left off with our frequency table, and in Excel it looks like this. So we were able to generate all of the data we saw coming from the PC version that has a tool pack. So also because you have a Mac, you don't have the tool pack, you have to create the histogram in another way. Well, Excel can do that very easily on the Mac by using the chart function. So now what we've done is we really want to create the histogram from our bin and frequency data. So all we have to do really is highlight or drag over that data to create our chart from that. And how we do that in Excel is we simply go up to the Chart Wizard button or just go up to the Insert key and type in or re select rather the chart function. And in the Excel later Excel versions, 2008, you have a ribbon basically at the top. So once you click on those, you get chart functions from here. So in these versions of Excel, what you want to click on is uh, you don't really see histogram, but you're going to see is the uh, column chart. So again, we'll go up to our insert chart and Excel calls a histogram a column type. So we click on the column selections and we basically click on the first one you see there, which is the um, clustered column. So by default, the confusing part is once we get to step two of this chart wizard is <clears throat> essentially what Excel is doing is forcing this to be like a two column chart. So we have to tell Excel what to do with the data. So the first part, the data range that we really want as we drag over it is just our frequency numbers. So we can call over those cells just dra by dragging over them. And now you see as soon as I do that, I've already got my histogram looking the way it should. Then to fix the numbers, because if you look down at the numbers here, though they're hard to see in this little preview version, you can see they don't match our bins. So we're not looking at the pulse rates again from 90 to 160. It's just lining them up from like 1 to 10, for example. So the way we can fix that is we can also go to the series button and we can make sure that it's selecting the right series. So here we have the frequency is correct and the data range is correct. So if we click next, we're going to go to this step three chart and here we can put in our titles and here we can also put in the excess step. So where we're going to force those values to be correct is we're going to go back to our step two. So on that series tab that we were at in step two, we're going to go down here to category X access labels. That's where we're going to force Excel to get the bins correctly or to get our numbers going from 90 to our 160. So from here, we're just going to drag over those values, 90 to 160. And now you can see in the preview, it's actually correct now. So our, our x-axis looks correct. And then you can kind of do in the next steps, you can fix it. You can give it a title. You can title the x and y-axis. So down here would be pulse rate. And you can go back and fix these later if you want to. The y-axis is the frequency. And you can see as I change those, the preview changes. And you can also put it in another sheet or the same sheet. Here we'll put it in the same sheet. We'll click Finish. And now you can see we have our histogram finally. So then you can go back in and you can get rid of some of these and change the table to make it look correct as how you want it. And remember, a true histogram, as we have here, this is continuous data. <clears throat> so we want these to have no gap. The bars should touch in a histogram. They don't touch in a bar graph, but we have a histogram here. So we're going to go right click, just like we did in the PC version. We'll click Format Data Series. And here we can change the colors of whatever we want. We go to Options. <clears throat> we change the gap width to zero. And as you do that, you can see it changes. Now we have our true histogram. And if we go back to the PC version, it looks just like the PC histogram that we created using Toolpad for Excel. So again, this is a quick way to make a histogram in the Mac versions of Excel. In this short video, I'm going to continue my work with uh, Excel for the Mac in the new version 2011. 
So in this version, what we see is, uh, for the last video we showed where we had different steps to get this charting to work for the histogram, it's done a little differently in the new version. So here again, here I have my worksheet where we've done, gone ahead and bin the data for what we want to look for, this heart rate data, from 90 to 160, and we've got our frequencies. So I showed you how to set that up in the prior videos. So now the only difference is for the charting for the new Mac version, basically we're going to do the same type of thing. We're going to select our cells that we want to uh, chart. So we drag over the bins and frequency, and now we go to, from the Home tab, we just go to Charts, and we select the Insert Chart function, and we go to this first one, Clustered Column, like we did in the other video. So now we have our chart that we have to fix. So what it's done is it's, it's graphed the bins and the frequency. So we want to get rid of the bins first, so we'll just right-click on those and delete, and now we see our histogram come into shape here. But of course now we have the same problem we did in the last video. It's Excel is labeling these 1 to 8, and we want to have our nice labels bottom. So we want to put in the uh, frequency from uh, our bins from 90 to 160 for the heart rate. So to do that, we simply right-click on the bars, and we're going to go to Select Data. So this is similar to the chart wizard we did for the other forms on the Mac. So now, this was step 3 before, but here's our Category X labels. They've just basically taken out a couple steps for you. And what we're going to do is... We'll just drag over our bins now, and as I do this from 90 to 160, now you see that Excel is forcing the X labels to now be correct, corrected. So we click OK, and now we have our histogram going from our 90 to 160 for our heart rate data. Then to make this a true histogram, because it's continuous data, so this is not a bar graph, we want to close the gaps. To do that, we just right click, Format Data Series, that calls up the Data Series dialog box, here you have the gap width, just make it zero, click OK, and now we have a true histogram for our heart rate data. So we can go ahead and label these as we want, and now we have our histogram complete in Excel 2011 for the Mac.